As a photographer, a videographer, uh, lighting is absolutely everything. And one of the things that I've really started to see is um, a lot of venues are starting to do uplight and, and DJs are starting to have, have uplighting and, and gobos and all this different fun things that they're doing with lighting. So today we are here with Matt Mazzone. We are here at uh, 90 State Street, an amazing new venue downtown uh, that has the LED uplighting. Um, so Matt, what can you tell us about uh, uplighting? What's the benefit of having uplighting for a bride and groom? You know, I think for a bride and groom or any event, say, um, uplighting just kind of really has the ability to change the landscape and what your room is. Um, yeah. And you take a beautiful space like this and you add the uplighting, you know. Um, you can play with this, have a lot of fun, you can change the colors of the room, you can change the dynamics of the room, you can even change the way that the event space really feels, you know. Change the, the, the atmosphere It might be completely. like a pink and then, you know, towards the end of the, the night it might turn into an orange or a red. Yeah. Um, so it really has the ability to change the atmosphere, change what you're doing and, and kind of make it, uh, make it your own. So, um, um, now, gobos. Now, for those, <laughs> for a bride and groom, what the heck is a gobo? It sounds like a sandwich. I don't know. <laughs> it does sound like a little bit of a sandwich. Uh, <laughs> but gobos have really been a hot trend, you know, okay. and uh, we've been seeing them a lot more. Where The gobo is just a light that uh, pretty much will shine and stencil um, what they want. You know, okay. maybe it's their logo. Maybe yeah. it's like, you know, the, the two first names with the last name or, you know, the initials or or a lot of different ways to kind of show the bride and groom just a little bit extra special. So they'll, they'll, they'll shine that and it'll hit the dance floor. Yep, they'll shine that, they'll hit yeah. the dance floor, it'll hit a back wall. So it just kind of adds a different accent or a different element to the event. It's a nice touch for a, a video especially is when you have that grand entrance and they're walking across the dance floor and they're going across and, and on the floor is the couple's name. Oh yeah. Which is very cool. <laughs> so uh, And then it becomes their backdrop for the video and yeah. it ends up being cool everywhere. Exactly, exactly. So now for those bride and grooms that um, they want to consider playing around with lighting, do mm -hmm. they have to find a venue that already has uh, up lighting like you guys do? Or, or what's the bride and groom to do? Um, I think the, the best way for the bride and groom is definitely, uh, you know, we have a lot of lighting options at our venues, but there's a number of other professionals that are more than happy to help out. You know, depending on how complex or how easy you want to go, you know, a lot of the DJs have yeah. lighting packages with them. Yep. A lot of the event rental companies, if you're really going for something extreme, you can really see some amazing I've seen some Im impressive stuff. I mean, even you guys have the uplighting here, but yep. I've seen some DJs or production companies, for that matter, that will light every single pillar and completely change oh, yeah. a space. And, and for guys like us that, that walk into a venue um, every weekend, you're coming back to a venue, you walk into it, and it's got a whole new lighting package. It's, oh, yeah. It feels it's, like a totally like different a space. Different space, and that's that's every wedding has to feel have a uniqueness yes, to it. Yes, you know? definitely. And all these special features bring that uniqueness, whether it be lighting or creative spaces or, or what you're doing, you know, and, and that's exactly what I think it adds, is just, it makes it their own. Excellent, excellent. Well, definitely uh, for bride and grooms out there, if you're um, planning your wedding, definitely consider doing up lighting. Uh, it, it adds all the elements that we talked about. Out of character. Yeah, well, thank you very much, Matt. Great, thank definitely you, Definitely appreciate Dave. it. Yeah, appreciate absolutely. It. Uh, and that's it for this week. Check back for some more great info soon. <laughs> all right, this is uh, BBT 12 uh, lighting with uh, Matt Mazzone. This is take one. So we're lit right now. Yeah, we are. <laughs> <laughs> Makes the lighting conversation so much better. When you're properly lit. Oh, it's cool.